If you're a creator looking for new ways to grow on YouTube, then this video is going to blow your mind because I just found six ways that you can use artificial intelligence to grow your channel faster and easier. Now, specifically, we're gonna be talking about none other than ChatGPT, which is a website that you can use right now for free to generate things such as titles, scripts, and you can even use it to help you come up with an entire video idea. It's a super strong tool that every content creator should be using. And if you guys are interested in checking it out, there's going to be a link in the description below where you guys can sign up for an account and start using it right away. Now, the first way that you can use ChatGPT to grow your YouTube channel is through thumbnail ideas. Okay, so here I am on ChatGPT and an example of what I can ask ChatGPT is give me thumbnail ideas for a YouTube video about using ChatGPT to grow on YouTube. And if I type that in, you guys can see that ChatGPT is generating a ton of different ideas right now. And you can see that these aren't thumbnails. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a more specific prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and word it in a different way. So I'm gonna say, give me some ideas for a YouTube thumbnail on a video about using ChatGPT to grow on YouTube. Okay, cool. So now you could see that it's actually gonna give us some ideas for thumbnails. It seems like they gave us like ideas for a title. So I just reworded it differently, like give me some ideas for a YouTube thumbnail instead of give me thumbnail ideas. So you can see right here, it says an illustration of a person holding a laptop or a smartphone with a ChatGPT logo in the background, right? So that gives me an idea, right, already off the bat that I could just hold a laptop right here. And then on that laptop screen can be the ChatGPT logo. And you can see they gave us a ton of other recommendations right here. So this is just one idea, right? And I just gave it a simple prompt of a YouTube video about using ChatGPT to grow on YouTube. But obviously the more detailed the prompt is the better ideas that ChatGPT can give to you. You're still gonna need to go through and verify that everything in there is good and makes sense because if you just go straight off of this, this isn't even a thumbnail idea. This is just a, I guess, title idea. So you do still wanna make sure that everything that ChatGPT is giving you is actually valid. And this applies for all the different ways on this list as well. So yeah, use ChatGPT as a tool, but also use your own judgment to determine whether or not it generated something good or bad. Now, moving on to number two, ChatGPT can also help you A-B test titles for old videos. So you guys are probably thinking like, hey, why don't I just use ChatGPT to come up with a good title the first time around? And while yes, Yes, that is true. You could also use ChatGPT to come up with better titles for the videos that you already published. This is a great way to increase the amount of views that you have overall, because if you have evergreen videos on your channel, that means that it can continue to get views over and over again throughout the years. And something that a lot of big YouTubers actually do is they actually continue to A-B test their thumbnails and their titles, even if their video was posted a while ago. And so the great thing about YouTube is that if you have a video that didn't do well in the past, you can always go back in and change the title or the thumbnail, which can cause it to rank better and and also perform better. And if you guys are interested, we actually use TubeBuddy to A-B test our thumbnails and titles. So if you guys are interested, we'll be leaving a link down in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. And we'll also link below some videos that we've made in the past that go more in depth into how to use TubeBuddy to grow your channel. A-B testing is probably their best feature, but they have a ton of other tools like Health Report, a Launchpad, Competitor Scoreboard, Search Rank Tracking, and some other super useful analytics like Retention Analyzer and Usage Statistics. If you guys want to have access to the A-B testing, then we highly recommend that you guys upgrade to the legendary plan. And this is going to allow you to seriously grow on YouTube. So just to show you guys an example, we had a video in the past um, on hustle culture and we did an AB test on the title. And if you guys can see, it says right here, the original click through rate was 37.5% higher than the variation. So if I go ahead and click on that, it's going to go and take me to this page where it tells me all about the data that it gathered when testing both of the titles. So if I go ahead and I scroll down here, uh, you guys can see that the original title was hustle culture is killing you. And you can see that what we tested it with was the problem with hustle culture in 2022. And um, if we go ahead and scroll up, we can see that the original title had a 1.3% click through rate while the variation title had only a 0.97% click through rate. And so this resulted in less impressions, less clicks and less watch time. And you guys can also see that we had less 
daily clicks overall. So yeah, just really, really useful information to have. And with TubeBuddy, it's great because it automatically changes to whichever title or thumbnail is performing the best. So basically you give it two titles or you give it two thumbnails and it basically A-B tests it every single day until it sees a bigger difference in one thumbnail or one title over the other. Sometimes there are cases when we literally just change one word in the title and this results in a huge amount of growth in terms of views. So if I wanna use ChatGPT to help me come up with a different title for this video, then I can give it, for example, give me 15 different titles for a YouTube video under 50 characters based on a video about how hustle culture is killing you. And you guys can see right here that it's gonna go ahead and spit out a ton of different ideas on the video that we have. And so if I see any of these that I like, I can either use it or the better approach is I could just use all of this as inspiration to come up with a better title. We can even go ahead and take it a step further and ask it to please make it more dramatic. You can see that it's now generating some more ideas, um, except it's trying to make it more dramatic. And I can do this with like any adjective, right? I can make it more funny. I can make it more serious. And if I want, I can even ask it, how would Mr. Beast title the video? And as you can see, it's now generating some ideas that, you know, some of it is kind of close, right? Like I nearly died from hustle culture. That sounds like something that Mr. Beast would put, right? But the hustle culture tragedy, my survival story, probably not something that he would ever use. So again, ChatGPT is not always perfect and you definitely don't want to use it to just copy and paste over. You do want to use it though for generating ideas and giving you inspiration for what you actually end up using. Now, another useful resource that you guys can use is a website called thumbsup.tv. Um, we'll leave a link down in the description for you guys as well. But if you guys go on this website, you guys are gonna see that it asks you to drop a thumbnail image and then also add a title. So if I go ahead and drag over the thumbnail that we have of the video, and let's just say that I want to go with the first one, right? So I nearly died from hustle culture. And I go ahead and I paste it onto the titles right here. I can go ahead and scroll down and you guys can see that it's gonna give me a web browser view for the home screen for large. And it's also gonna include the title that I put. So so I can see exactly what it looks like for the small thumbnails on the YouTube homepage. This is for the sidebar. So let's say somebody's watching a YouTube video and they see this on the sidebar, you know, what is it gonna look like, right? And if you scroll down even more, it's gonna tell you what it looks like in the history, in the watch later, uh, and it'll even show what it looks like on mobile. So this is a super useful tool to use if you guys want to see how your title and thumbnail looks on all platforms. And it's especially important for mobile because you know a lot of people are watching YouTube from a mobile device. And if you guys noticed earlier, I did ask ChatGPT to keep the title under 50 characters. So if I go ahead and just paste this three more times, um, you guys are gonna see that if I scroll down and it's gonna cut it off at about 50 to 70 characters, right? So it depends on which device that you're on, right? So so if you see it as a small thumbnail, then it's gonna cut off a lot earlier than if you were to see it as a large thumbnail. And same thing for the rest, right? So let's say you're on mobile, you're not gonna be able to see the entire title. So it's very important that you guys use this tool and you guys also try to keep your titles under 50 characters because anything longer than that might be cut off for mobile devices. Now, moving on to number three, we have using ChatGPT to help you write scripts and more importantly, help you write intros. All right, so if you wanna grow on YouTube, then there's two things that you have to focus on. One one is the click-through rate and two is the average view duration. So this basically means how long you're able to keep the audience watching. And this is also known as retention. And so the very first two things that we went over, right, the thumbnails and the titles, that's for getting a higher click-through rate. But now that we're focusing on how to retain the person watching the video, the very first thing that you need to focus on is the intro, otherwise known as the first 30 seconds of your video. It's very important. And you need a hook that's gonna be able to grab the attention of the viewer and also keep them watching the entire time. Now, where ChatGPT can come into the picture is I can go ahead and ask it, for example, what is a hook that would engage viewers for a video about using chat GPT to grow on YouTube? And as you guys can see, it just spit out 10 different ideas on some hooks that I can use for this video. And if you read some of these examples, they're actually pretty good. So I didn't use ChatGPT to help me come up with the intro hook for this video, but I could have easily went on and just changed up a few words so that it doesn't sound too weird. And it would have been totally fine to use. Now, another way that you can use ChatGPT is you can ask it, what twists 
can I add to my intro to make it more engaging? And you guys can see that it's gonna give me a ton of different ideas as well as an explanation on why that is. So they're telling me that I can start off with a question like, are you tired of struggling to grow your YouTube channel? And they're also saying that you can use a joke to lighten the mood and a bunch of other things that actually are pretty good ideas. So again, this is something that you can take inspiration from. It's probably not something that you just wanna copy and paste into your script. But yeah, after reading all of this, I can go ahead and take inspiration from it, right? So I can go ahead and ask it another question. Like, can you add a joke to the intro? And as you guys can see, it did a, why did the YouTuber cross the road jokes? But if you're not satisfied with your answer, then the great thing about ChatGPT is you could just regenerate the response and they'll give you a different one. And you guys can see that it did another cross the road joke, um, but it just did a different delivery. So it looks like from here, I'm gonna have to ask it some more specific stuff. And of course you could just ask ChatGPT to not use that joke again in the future. Anyways, moving on to number four, we have using ChatGPT to find research 10 times faster. So if you've ever done a YouTube video where you've had to do some research on the script, then you probably know how time consuming that could be. But with ChatGPT, you can literally do research in a matter of minutes to pretty much find data, statistics, stories, explanations, and summaries about pretty much anything that you want. So for example, if your channel is on like entrepreneurship, right? And you wanna summarize the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So what I would do is I would go on ChatGPT and ask it, summarize the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The cool thing about ChatGPT, again, is you can always take it to the next level, right? So if I wanna know something specific from the book, I can even ask it, right? So for example, I can ask, what is the most important thing that Robert Kiyosaki learned from his rich dad? And so something that is very, very specific in the book that I wanna know about, I can easily get from ChatGPT, right? So I've read the book before, and I know that there's many sections where Robert Kiyosaki is talking about all the lessons that he's learned. And instead of combing through the entire book and trying to find Find the exact chapter and the exact quote, I could just ask ChatGPT and it could bring it up within seconds. Another example of bringing specific research into your scripts is for example, Elon Musk, right? So I can ask it, what famous stories about Elon Musk prove that you can be successful in entrepreneurship as long as you don't give up, right? So if you have a YouTube video about, you know, how you shouldn't give up on entrepreneurship. You can basically take stories from all different types of successful entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and all those other successful business people. And as you guys can see, it's generating three different stories that I can use. And you guys can see one of it was Tesla, right? So when Tesla was facing financial difficulties and production challenges, he didn't give up on the company, continued to invest in it. And today it's one of the most valuable automotive companies in the world. So I can even go in further and I can even ask ChatGPT, you know, when was Tesla facing financial difficulties or what financial difficulties were they facing, right? And basically this speeds up my entire process instead of, you know, combing through all different types of books, articles, journals, and other websites where I would normally get my research on anything. I could just use ChatGPT to generate exactly what I wanna know as long as it's before 2021, right? So yeah, this is a super powerful tool that you can use, especially if you guys have a, you know, faceless channel out there on, you know, documentaries, you know, video essays or biographies, you know, those types of channels, you don't need to show your face. And it mostly just takes up a lot of time hiring a researcher and a script writer and all that. But if you guys use ChatGPT, you guys can eliminate a lot of the time that you spend on doing research. Okay, moving on to number five, we have turning ChatGPT into your target audience. Now, this one's gonna be a fun one because what you're basically gonna do is take all the prompts that we just went over, right? The thumbnails, the titles, the intros, the scripts, all that stuff. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is combine them with ChatGPT, except you're gonna turn ChatGPT GPT into the person that you're trying to target. Now, let's say you have a channel about business, finance, and entrepreneurship. And let's say your target audience is females who are between the age of 18 and 24 years old. And you could basically use ChatGPT and turn them into that person, right? So for example, I'm gonna tell ChatGPT that you are a female between the age of 18 to 24, and you are interested in business, finance, and entrepreneurship. And I can go ahead and ask it, you know, a bunch of different questions like, what are your biggest problems that you're trying to solve on YouTube? So it's gonna generate a ton of different things that, you know, someone of that demographic would struggle with. And from here, you can ask it an unlimited amount of questions to keep on trying out new ideas for your target audience, right? So I can even ask it, what kinds of videos would she click on for her 
YouTube homepage. And boom, just like that, it generated seven different specific interests and needs that you know that person might click on. And I can even go ahead and go as specific as what thumbnails would she click on. And yeah, it's gonna give me five different things that I can use for my thumbnails if I wanna target that demographic. And let's say I have a video on credit, right? So I have a video on credit for business. What kind of title and thumbnail would make her want to click. And yeah, here it gives me a title of boost your business with credit, the insider secrets. And it's telling me that for the thumbnail, um, something that would catch her attention is a bold image of a young businesswoman with a determined look on her face, right? So because she's a woman, she would probably relate more to a young businesswoman on the screen, right? And if I'm not happy with that, I could just go ahead and regenerate the response until it gives me enough inspiration to go with a final thumbnail and title. Okay, number six on the list is asking ChatGPT to proofread and shorten your scripts. So if you guys didn't know, the average American actually reads at a seventh to eighth grade level. So I went ahead and I used ChatGPT to write an intro for a YouTube video about how to use ChatGPT to grow your YouTube channel in 2023, right? So it went ahead and it generated a ton of text for my intro. And right here it says, with so many creators vying for attention on YouTube, it's more important than ever to have a unique and effective strategy. So most people probably don't know what vying means and it's just an unnecessary word that's super complex, right? So sometimes ChatGPT will generate words like this where it's just super complex and unnecessary and makes it really hard for the audience to understand. And sometimes even when you're writing your own script and you're not using chat GPT, you could accidentally include some words or some sentences that don't really add to the video and just make it really boring. So something that you can use chat GPT for is to just shorten everything that you write in your script. Because if you're able to convey your point to the audience in the least amount of words possible, it's going to result in higher engagement, higher retention, and therefore more views. So yeah, as you guys saw, there were plenty of mistakes that ChatGPT made in this video, which is why you still need to check everything and make sure that the quality is good. And just remember that ChatGPT is a tool that you can use to generate ideas and to use it as inspiration rather than using it as something that you could just copy and paste from. Now, this also means that you still need to learn how the YouTube game works and how the algorithm is affected by things like click-through rate, SEO, as well as what makes a good video idea, title, thumbnail, and all that stuff. Without all of that basic YouTube knowledge, you won't know what questions to ask to get the best results. And even if you did, you wouldn't know whether or not what it's giving you is good or bad. And that's where we come in. If you're interested in learning more about the YouTube algorithm and how you can increase the amount of views and subscribers that you get, you can check out the entire playlist that we have on the channel that will teach you how to grow your YouTube channel. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Startupwise pushes out a ton of tutorials and how-to guides every single week for you guys. And yeah, we're dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs and content creators like yourself that want to get started. Again, all the websites that we use are going to be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.